So if you think about the definition of a real-time system, one with a fixed and well-defined time constraints, where the consequences of missing a deadline can be catastrophic, all sorts of scenarios may come to mind, from a life-supporting medical equipment to healthcare robotics, also in automotive applications. So we see different verticals, like telco as well, requiring real-time. One of the key sectors where we're seeing demand for real-time Linux is also industrial. This is both for discrete automation as well as for process automation. And what we're actually seeing in the market, in industrial, is the transition from closed standards and proprietary interfaces towards the adoption of open source software and, and open standards and open interfaces. And Linux with real-time capabilities as well as the internet-based TSN is actually underpinning this transition. In the past, the different factories, the industrial PCs, were mostly used for HMIs or some data gathering, but we are now starting to see the demand for real-time compute at the edge as well. So whether it's industrial PCs or edge servers, they're all requiring real-time capabilities to deliver the processing of the workloads in a production line, as well as for the shop floor where the different devices are being operating. So it's very similar from the Intel side to what Eduardo was, was just saying in the use cases that we see. It's, it's actually broadening, right? So, I mean, in the past, the natural use case was probably in an industrial robotic control area, but we see automatic movers that in, on factory show, uh, floors move like goods from A to B to the production lines. Um, but there are also use cases in healthcare, for example, if you, if, if you think about you know, processing of images, if you think about surgery, robotics, again. And then there is the whole notion of displays, right? Where in the past you had one PC controlling up to four displays. Right now we see these enormous video walls that need to be coordinated. And there is a clear demand for real time right here. If you think about 20 or so displays that need to be in sync, that need to, sh uh, to show one picture in the end, right? Then what we've been talking about here, TCC and TSN really comes into play, right? Because it's not one machine anymore that controls these enormous displays, it's multiple machines. So there is a trend of, you know, more smaller compute form factors rather than a big server. And um, if you think about real time, then there are really different dimensions even towards real time from something that is in microseconds of real time towards something that's in milliseconds of real time. And that's what we're really working on and why we work with various partners like Canonical to really get the Intel innovation, the Intel technology to market and in the hands of our customers that actually build the applications of it.